this is Sonova. And this is Johannes. And you are watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And today we are giving you our first impressions of Ark Nova, a new game from designer Matthias Wigan. It's published by Foyerland and Capstone Games. It plays from one to four players in 90 to 150 minutes. Yeah, so uh, these are going to be some first impressions of games that we played in Essen. We're going to try to then play the games because you're going to see more of these first impressions. This is the second one and you're going to see more coming during the next few weeks. Yes. And we hope to then be able to do like the biggest games, play them more and then do like some final thoughts on them as well. Yes. But today we're doing the first impressions. We have only played one game in, by, in two players, in two players, one game for two players. It took us about two hours and 40 minutes, which is then 150, 160 minutes, which is more than the maximum time on the box. Uh, and that's probably like, because every time we play again, the first time it's going to take longer, but yeah. it felt a bit long. Yes, it felt a bit long. We were having some AP mm -hmm. um, because it, it felt like rules wise, mm -hmm. this game is very straightforward. I'm going to do an overview soon. Just like oh, yeah, it. perfect. But like we, it was actually more meaty than I thought. Yeah, so, because. So we had some heavy IP moments. Mm, because the rules are pretty like, straightforward, like they're pretty simple. What you're doing in the game is that you're running as Sue. You are on each of your turn, you're going to choose one of five actions that you have in front of you on action cards. And depending on where in the action queue basically they are laying, they're going to be better or worse for that. So you almost like you, you want to, most of the time you want to do the best actions because those are good, but then you need to do the other actions so you will either do a worse one or you can spend tokens to make it better and try to make the queue in a way that works for you timing wise and makes it work in a way that that is the best for you when you play the game so the things you are doing is that you are uh, playing animals into your zoo but before you do that you have to build enclosures into your zoo which is a map like a little, this little like puzzle game where you try to do it in the best way possible to get bonuses and also place uh, shasks where you can i don't know what it's called in, uh, in, kiosks. in English. kiosks you get a kiosk where you basically can get some more income try to do that in a little puzzle you then have to play the animals and they live in different enclosures you have special enclosures that are better, but then you have to be able to advance or upgrade your action card to something you can do to make the action cards better. You will also play sponsors, which are basically different abilities and end of game scoring. You also have some conservative uh, conservation way, like you're building a zoo, but you also want to conserve the wildlife. And sometimes you even want like some, some of the conservation cards are basically have this, have that, have three of this symbol, two of that symbol, and others are release an animal into the free. And when you do that, you will get then conservation points, but you will lose your appeal, which is basically tickets, how many people want to come and see your zoo. And the goal of the game is because this is a game where you have two tracks of scoring, kind of like Rogers of the Gang is, is you have played that, or those two scorings are moving and you want to make them meet, and then you will stop the game. And do some final scoring and the winner of the game is going to be the player who has the longest way basically between their conservation point and their appeal tracker yes that's basically what you're doing in the game so this is one of the most hyped games for uh essence spiel and that's why we're choosing to start with that and um, this feels like for me like a, a smorgasbord uh i'm just loving using a swedish word in an english video uh uh of different mechanisms and like it feels like it's a game where it's been taken like a little bit from here a little bit from here like the scoring track i i think i've almost only seen in riders of the Ganges. Yes. it might have been in other games before that but that's like the one that people know it from and i've heard that the action mechanism is kind of the same as in civilization new dawn yeah i have not played that um and then like you have the puzzle which is um like a, a spatial puzzle that's not yeah. taken from somewhere. That's just like, I don't mean like, like very, I don't mean anything is taken mechanism. from yeah. somewhere, but yeah. like, uh, and the engine building card play people have been saying it looks kind of like terraforming Mars. We're going to talk about it if it does, if it feel like that. So do you agree? Do you feel like this is kind of like a, it, it's nothing new here? No, it's a, it's a solid blend of uh, already well-tested mechanisms. Yeah. So I feel like, uh, it's like a, a nice like melting pot of, mm -hmm. of mechanisms um what you said about like the the card play and the engine building yeah um you basically have these like icons on all the cards yep. uh, which um tells you for example that it gets a little cheaper if you have the right icon or you get some points if it has the right icon or it's requirements that you mm -hmm. can't play this card mm -hmm. unless you have the right icons and that is very familiar to terraforming mars yes uh, other than that uh, i see very few similarities to 
there from your Mars, but but I can see why people are talking about this. Yeah, because it's the same like Terraform Mars is a game where you play loads of cards. Yes. And it's not a game where you're going to play quite a few cards during all, during the game. But but other than that, like the action selection, all that is different. So. But like the, the last game that people said, like this is like terraforming Mars, was under what it cities, which for me feels nothing, nothing like terraforming like Mars. It. So this is this more feels like way it. more than the, like terraforming Mars than that did because you have you're gonna play quite a few cards, uh, and card play is a huge part of the game. Yes, like two of the five actions you can choose is to play a card. Yes, so that means that it's a quite a big part of the game playing that those cards. Mm, it feels like here, like in terraforming Mars, it feels like more of the cards have actions because here many of the most of the cards basically you play it, it gives you a bonus, might like give you some points in different tracks, might give a special ability, and then the card is done. Yes. So most of the time you just want to play a card for its ability and it's done. You have a few cards that have uh, end of game scoring, which mostly gonna give you like one of the conservation points, which might be a, a, a big factor at the end of the game. Mm. Um so uh, it feels kind of like the card play is not less interesting, but it doesn't feel like I'm building an engine more. No, it I feels agree. like I'm just playing cards yes. because they're good. And mm. then sometimes, of course, you have a special ability or you're trying to do some combos that works out well if you get the cards you need. Uh, but it doesn't feel like an engine builder for me the first time you played it. Well, it's more of an engine builder in in uh, your income that increases when you go up on the appeal track. Yeah. You get a more income when <coughs> when you take like a break. Uh, that happens from time to time that mm -hmm. the game it, the game triggers a break. Yeah. And then you get income, and it also feels like a little engine builder in the way that you like upgrade your action cards. Yeah, say. I so enjoy that. So you're going to uh, be able to do more powerful things later, mm -hmm. and I think it's really interesting that that aspect is the most interesting part of the game for me yep. that that queue system with yes. the cards mm -hmm. and you're trying to do things in the right order and yep. like okay so I have to plan for example uh, three turns ahead like I'm going to then take some cards and then I'm going to build uh, some enclosures mm -hmm. to, because then I know what enclosures I actually need yep. because it's hard to know what enclosures my animal wants before I actually see the animals that, that I pick true. and then I'm going to oh then the animal card is on five which is the best and then I can maybe boom, if boom. I can afford it because yep. Um, money. Animals are expensive yes. things to buy and, and dress Then you. I can maybe play two animals if I'm lucky. Mm -hmm. So, so you're all the time you're trying to like see, okay, where will this card be in two hours, and does that fit, fit my plan? Mm -hmm. There was many times where I was just like, oh, now it would be a really good time mm -hmm. to uh, build some buildings, and it's like, but if I can do this one first, then that one I will be able to do again yeah. the best mm -hmm. next time, mm -hmm. and then I like switch around the order. Um, so that was a thingy. I, I enjoyed that puzzle. Yeah, I enjoy the timing of it yes. basically. And I, we're using this word a lot like an optimization puzzle. Yes. Which basically all board games are, but more some feel more like this. Yeah. Feels like it because you have a timing mechanism and you're trying to to do things obviously in the best way possible. Like yeah, but... it's the best critique of any game ever. Like yes. in this game you're trying to do things in the best way possible to score mm. the most points. Yeah. But the all of the parts works very well, like all of the parts, everything is makes sense. Like the first time you play, you're gonna have probably, probably or you, you will have some trouble remembering the icons because there's a lot of icons. But if you just like sit down with, a, with an animal car and just see, okay, this is this, this is this, this is this, this is that. This it's is, not, this is, this is, but it's not that much. Like yeah, it yeah. looks kind of busy when you look at it, but it's not actually that much. Yes. It depends on the price. It's the it's the size of the uh, enclosure they want to be yeah. in. It's the the symbols they will get you. There might be some symbol requirements on the left. There's going to be a special ability and the appeal and bonuses you get when you play the That's card. It, yeah. And that is basically the card. So they look very busy. Uh, I, I let's talk a bit like about the artwork of it. Like it's. Uh, it looks like it's kind of a um, kind of like Terraform Mars had like clip art yeah. of things. Yeah. Especially one of them we we found out because we <laughs> there was this animal I had not heard of and I searched it on Google and the first picture that came out was the picture that yes. they had used in the game. So basically it looks like they've taken pictures, actual mm -hmm, pictures, mm -hmm. and then they have like put this like artwork filter on it. Yeah. It looks um, um, much more beautiful than Terraforming Mars because yeah. it looks like, uh, in Terraforming Mars, it looks like they've like clipped out pieces from different magazines, like mm -hmm. different settings. Yeah. Some things are very um, cartoony, some things are really realistic. Like it doesn't, yeah, it's like a scrapbook. 
uh, but in this game it's like the same art style yeah. all over but it's it's very simple i am wondering who the people are <laughs> because yeah. there are people in the game and uh -huh. i hope those are actual people they know and it just they like find random people on the internet it's like Hey, there might be if stock you, photos if that you like, just like Bloop. if you bought it and it's like, hey, the... that's me. Why am I in this game? That would be really, really oh, weird. It's probably like they bought a bunch of stock photos and then they put that filter on. I think it looks fine. So, is there anything you do not like in the game? Like we, there's many like solid mechanisms. Is there something you don't like? I dislike. Well, it's not, nothing that I dislike. Uh -huh. I kind of think like it's cool because they try to make all the things work together. Mm -hmm. So, so for example, I use my like my dude tokens. I don't know, like dude this, tokens. Yeah, to to go and unlock like um kind of connections with uh different countries yes and also to do some like what do you call it the, you get the, the research stations yes. and the conservation uh, yes. points yeah and also if you like you need those guys to do that mm -hmm. and then like if you reach a certain level on the reputation track or yeah. when you do like have enough connections you get another of those guys and you kind of like so all the things you're just like but i need that guy to do that but to do that i actually need the but uh, yeah. there's lots of tracks like yes. there's tracks with bonuses and, and the kinda... map has bonuses the tracks have bonuses or everything has bonuses yes. so there's if you if you count your map as kind of a track then it's going to be like six tracks yeah so there's five tracks and a map where you place things or move on the tracks to get bonuses that you can use to get more movement on tracks and the bonuses on those tracks yes and i didn't dislike it uh -huh. but i wasn't like a huge fan of that i was just like that didn't make me excited no it was just like ah oh, a little hassle to like with all those tracks maybe that will be easier the next time we play it though yeah the thing is like i uh, there's five cards you can upgrade four of them uh, throughout the game if you'd like there's four different ways now it's going oh it's going to be hard to, to unlock all of those it wasn't but it kind of wasn't because you you will be able to do a lot of things in the game we did spend a lot of time and probably like if you play differently it will be shorter because yes. we played the way we did the, the, the lot of the appeal the tickets and then like in the end of the game we started to move more on the green track uh, the conservation track and i I feel like like I got to do most of what I wanted to do. Like there was the game did not for me feel super tight. Well, I, yeah, as, uh, I think you're like trying to say that we could have gone more on the green track, like the conservation track, than uh -huh. we did on uh -huh. tickets. But to do those like conservation um, uh, missions, kind of projects, yeah, uh, yeah, you have to have some animals in your cultures because oh, that yeah. is what is uh, like, and then um, you automatically, automatically would have gotten the tickets first. Oh yeah, so yeah, kinda, yeah, that's not. But I, uh, and also because of that queue system with the mm -hmm. cards, yep. I think it's very hard in this game to do like a very like one street thing way of doing things it's oh, yeah. my first impression it yes. feels like you got a balance all the way mm -hmm. maybe like you can weigh some things heavier than others mm -hmm. that i think you can do but like oh i'm not going to go because you can do that kind of in rajas and Lugangis yeah. because i'm going to care compare them just for a tiny second yeah. now you can just like oh i don't i don't care about points i'm gonna go like money or, yeah. or the opposite but here i think it's will be very often that the tracks meet kind of like on the middle I, I, this is not truth because this is my first once, impression yeah, once. Yeah. yeah i think you could especially for for the appeal because you don't have to go for conservation no, yeah, points like but, is, but the yes. track is way longer than the right yeah, yeah, it's it like is. 150 points i think on the appeal track to get to the to the end yeah uh, but do you agree with me like the last point i made was uh, i i felt like the game was not very tight Oh yeah, I agree. felt like it yes. was. Oh, sometimes. Oh, I don't have money now. Then I'll do the action that gives me money. And when I do the action that gives me money, I'm gonna go closer to the break. And when the break comes, I'm gonna get my income. So then I have money again. Yeah. Uh, so it felt kind of like in. Like, I'm gonna compare it because it feels kind of like like in Terraforming Mars when everybody pauses, like when yes. everybody's done and stuff. And kind of that action of taking money here is kind of a pass action mm. or to just move things up like you don't have anything to do. Um, and that's kind of like when you get to the, the break to get the, the, the income uh, and, and refresh things, get the conservation, like the people who can do conservation actions with back. And it didn't like it. If the game was one and a half hours, like, and, and probably we can get it down, yeah, but now it's uh, two yeah. hours, 40 yes. minutes. 
I don't think we can get it down 70 minutes. No, I don't think so. But I think, like, as you said... And that yeah, might be us. Like, I it agree. might be played super, super duper I quick. don't think it was a super tight game. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be. But the tightness of it came from the racing aspect. Because okay. it yep. hasn't got an end. I'm trying to keep up with you. Yep. I'm trying to be the one that actually ends the game. That uh -huh. means that I've got to be more efficient. So, yeah, I could do, like, a little, like, inefficient stuff. Because I'm going to get that money. And I'm going to take those breaks and get mm -hmm. that income anyways. But if you don't, like... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you have this super efficient strategy, I'm gonna like that's the tightness for me. Like, yep. and to also get like the most out of that, the mm -hmm. the queue system also like gives another like of this crunchy bit slide. Like, I, I need to like oh okay if if I could do this now, but I'm one coin short, and then I do had to do this suboptimal action. Um, yeah, so it didn't feel super tight, but like. If everyone is racing towards that, like meeting those mm -hmm. two tracks, it feels kind of stressful in the end. Yeah, so is there anything more you have before like wrap it up? Uh, no, I think we could wrap it up. So, um, wait, do we begin? I think, no, begin? I think okay, we begin. should talk about like the special payout powers. Oh, yeah, because, um, yeah. Because like oh, well. that is the one thing that I... We have not experienced, yes. basically. Or there's probably more things we have not experienced, but... Because we were like talking about how how different it would be to play like uh, the next time we play it because we may played with like the basic maps now yeah but basically you can have like it with little different maps that and we'll you play, will yeah we'll play with in. different ones as well so. yes and also you have some special abilities which i am looking forward to play with because they will make the game more interesting and they look very different like for example this has a outdoor arena area and it says that all adjacent uh, standard enclosures uh, adjacent to this then has plus two capacities. You can put like three ones no. and they're going to be threes. Mm. Or you can put a three of two and it's going to be five so it's, or four. It's going to be... So it, it is... I think it's going to be different enough to play with it to make it more interesting. Yes. Like in, for example, Castles of Burgundy where you have quite different boards and yes. it changes up how you play the game. So, so yeah, and also these are different the bonuses you get to do the conversation, conservation projects. So there is like there is some variability in that. Yeah. So yeah, should I start about like my my, my yes. final first impressions? Final first impressions. So as we had said, and you might have like seen like there's many things to like here, but I'm not in love. Like it's nothing here. The first time around, I felt it was long. It felt kind of. And, and probably as I said, like these first impressions, we we, we, we will play more, uh, but it might like get it down like thirty minutes or something that will help. But still, then that's a two hour plus game with two players, and I don't felt like there were some cards where you will interact with other players. But other than that, it's mostly about you not taking the cards I want from the deck. Oh yeah, one thing. Less luck here than in time for Mars because we have a display of cards that like you that. can take from uh, harder in the beginning. But if you upgrade your cards action, it will be easier to take from those, which is something I really enjoy. Yeah. And, and taking away um, m m most of the things I don't like about the luck of the drawing time for Mars. Yes. Even with drafting, you don't have to comment about that. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so there's many things to like. And I did like the game, but there's nothing to... Like, I'm not sitting here now being like, oh, I cannot wait to play it again. Yeah. I'm looking forward to play it again because yeah. it was a solid, fun game, yes. but it was nothing that blew my mind, yeah. nothing that made me giggly and yeah. warm inside. Yes. But it was a fun one. So uh, I just now made up my new first impression rating system. Yeah. It's one to five party poppers. And if it's even more, it's going to be a cannon of fun. Yes. So this was probably like, Two and a half party poppers. Yeah. I don't know how you get the and a half, and I don't even know what the rating means, but that's the rating for first impressions of Ark Nova. Two and a half party poppers. Yeah, I basically agree with everything. This is even long. a party popper. Yeah, like even a party popper, uh, because it's a fine game. It's yeah. solid, um, but I didn't. I, it, it it is not a canon of fun. I nope. hope this was, will be a game that will grow on me yeah. with the special powers and maybe next time around see a little more, more like um, um, yeah uh, efficient play like yeah, um, absolutely uh, yeah because I think if you can get this to ninety minutes I think that would help a lot yes so I'm looking forward to play it again mm -hmm. but so far like two and a half power party powers and you know us. there's that's just a no random rating is. system because we do not rate things and also this is going to look backwards because we're probably going to use that on the first impression you saw yesterday. 
because we're filming it after this. That's how filming works. Yes, so that is magic. the end of the video. If you are still here and you have not subscribed, you can do so now by clicking the subscribe button. It's free and it's fun. It makes us happy. If you want to do something that's not free but still fun, you can join our Patreon at patreon.com slash boardgamingramblings. That helps us out a lot, helps us get these games, go to cons. Uh, you'll get the Discord channel. We try to make some photos on there and some behind the scenes videos and stuff like that. So that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Sonova. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings and bye bye.